Hey guys, long time no see. Just wanted to kind of give you a little update as to where I'm at, how I'm doing. Excuse me, just ate. Um, I don't really um, have many things to talk about as far as like progress, as far as like my back goes. So um, everything's good and it's all, it's all put together. The biggest difference from the last time I said hi was in physical therapy. Now I was going to regular physical therapy at this place called Novacare around the corner from my house since November when JP and I got back from Florida. I've been working with this girl named Jenna. She's this short punk rock chick with tattoos, amazing, beautiful traditional tattoos on her legs. She's in a band, like she's rad. Um, love her to death, love her to death. Um, so I've been working with her since November and we got to a point where up until I'd say April, no, March, yeah, March. So back in March, before I went and saw my surgeon, I was lifting 25 pounds. I was going up and down a ladder for five minutes straight. Um, I was using a leg press, like I really was working on my strength, but was still struggling with pain. And that continues to be an issue to this day. Um, so when I saw my surgeon in March, she was like, well, we're going to switch you from physical therapy to work hardening. So what work hardening is, is a program that they have a printout of my job description, mainly the physicality requirements of my job. So being able to lift, crouch, bend, kneel, use a ladder, move a ladder, lift shipment boxes, lift accessory boxes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, then they could kind of plan my exercises around, you know, my job. Unfortunately, the place that they sent me to in New Jersey didn't have a ladder, which all my journeys peeps and my retail peeps know I have to be able to use a ladder. Like there's not a day that goes by in my life as a journey store manager that I don't touch a ladder, that I don't think about a ladder. So that was strike number one. Number two, they wouldn't let me lift, let me lift over 10 pounds. Remember, I was lifting 25 pounds when I was still at Novacare. So that was not good. That was making me go backwards versus forwards, which I need to be going forward. Um, and it was two hours of light cardio and stretching, which that would have been great for after surgery. But now that I'm so far along, I need to really be focusing on building up my muscle that have, you know, atrophied since my surgery and becoming somewhat sedentary. Um, so I went and saw my surgeon at the beginning of this month and I was like, listen, dude, yes, I still have pain. Um, I probably will still have pain forever, just like my knees. Um, but I was like, I need to go back to Novacare by my house. They have all the equipment that I need. Plus I'll be with the therapist that you know, knows me, trusts me, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So he kind of grumbled about it and wrote the script so that way I can go back. So technically I'm in work conditioning. It's all the same stuff. Um, but I go in, I'm there for two hours and you know, my people that have, um, my, an Apple watch and we're like friends, you can see that I'm like kicking butt. And I go there and I'm up and down a ladder for five minutes straight and I'm on the bike, I'm on the treadmill, I'm lifting weights, I'm standing on one foot throwing a ball at trampoline, like really intense stuff I'm doing and I'm feeling a lot stronger, which is awesome. And the other day, yesterday, I was able to bend forward, not bend my knees and touch the ground with the tips of my fingers. That was like the best feeling ever because I haven't done that since before surgery and while I've never been the most flexible person I was able to touch the ground so the fact that I can do that now that was like a really proud moment for me and I remember like I bent over I touched the ground and I looked up and the physical therapy assistant was like did you just get better range of motion I was like yep and when I showed Jenna my therapist she came over and she gave me a big high five because she knew that that was something that I'd been working towards and wanting to achieve. So that was awesome. I keep telling her my next step is to be able to do a cartwheel, but 
I'm not allowed to do it there and um, I'm not just gonna go cartwheeling around everywhere that's probably not appropriate but um yeah that's where I'm at still out of work but it looks like I'll be returning mid-May so stay tuned and yeah hope you all are well have a good one bye